Hey YouTube, so I am sitting here today at the at the Menlo Public Park under the shelter. It's windy as fuck. Um, it's a lot more quiet today than, than it was yesterday. Yesterday, but I wanted to talk about hex shaming. It just boils down to common respect for other people, other practitioners of the craft. That what I do with my magic is. No one else is with this but my own. That is the short end of it. Oh my god, not every, not every witch believes in the free pulled lie. How astonishing is that? But in fact, um, not every witch does believe in the three pulled lie. Even Doreen Valiente, one of my heroes, um, questioned it in a, in a lecture she gave um, just, just shortly before she died. She questioned why why only witches seem to have this sort of rule. Of course, she she is absolutely absolutely correct. Uh, those of us who have read Dorian's poetry know well that she had a rather badass curse at her disposal, and she was not afraid to use it when absolutely necessary. When karma needed to be given a gentle um, nudge. Preferably off the cliff, uh, depending on who you are. So yeah, I was on Facebook today, and uh, not everyone seems to understand that posting on a Facebook account is a privilege, not a right. That when you comment on, on someone's post, that you you have to take into consideration that it, it it's like you're walking into their house, and uh, you don't want to see anything anything offensive or improper that would challenge the reviews necessarily. This morning I had posted that I was seeking some advice for a crossing formula that I am um, wanting to put together. Um, something, that, something that can break up a relationship between two people, especially if one of those, one of those individuals hap happen to um, Break my heart and walk all over with the little Satan clone hooves. And I got a lot of flack for even asking that. But, you know, I, I, I absolutely maintain that my magic is my business. And if you don't like it, I would prefer you um, uh, maybe take a moment of self reflection to. Um, to consider that thought, that, you know, it, it, it's my magic, it's absolutely my business, no matter what I do with it, and um, we may not agree, but such is, is the spice of life. Ultimately, it boils down to the fact that if you hurt someone, there are consequences to be paid. This is a really personal story I'm going to share with you. Um, it's about how I unintentionally cursed my brother, and he almost lost his leg as, as a result. It was a nice week, weekend morning, or afternoon rather, my brother was home, and um, well, to paint a picture of my brother, he is, he has absolute, absolute, absolutely no filter. None whatsoever, and I honestly believe that's because he grew up never having a parent smack him or spank him once his entire life. Unlike me, none of our parents have, have ever told him not to say something. They've never told him to shut his mouth when he, when he speaks out of turn. He's, he just has this horribly toxic personality. I'm still waiting today for someone bigger than him and stronger than him, than him to put him in his place. But I digress. So it, it was a wonderful day until my, my brother came up. He was in some sort of a mood, and he just kept taking it out on me, kept calling me really horrible names, or even homophobic names, and I was sick of it, you know, I just told him to fuck off, and I took the softest, fluffiest, most lightweight pillow you can imagine, as it was storming up, I flung it at him, and that was all it took to set him off, he charged me, he, um, he beat me, he threw me around the room like I was a rag doll, and we had our row, and, um, 
eventually he left for a, for a day or so. And I retired to my room because my heart was pounding in my chest. Um, my blood pressure was, you know, maxed out, I'm sure. Um, I, I, I couldn't get calm. I, um, I was, I was a, a little nostril from the experience, you know. So I went to lay down. And while I laid down, I just I laid there and stewed for hours on end. In a fit of absolute rage and anger at him because it, it was his fault. Um, he he's never been able to channel his emotions properly. You know, um, uh, he's been bothered by the fact that his son is in Georgia, and he's he doesn't get to see him very often. It's not my problem. It's the way things are, and he's unable to handle them well. Uh, so I basically just laid in bed, dude, you know, just wanting something really awful to happen to him. Ultimately, I kept imagining him laying in a hospital bed uh, for about three hours with, with with some really horrible injury to his leg. Uh, um, because he's always been the sort that can't stay put. He always has to be on the run, constantly. He can't stand being inside. So... I figured that would, that would be awesome. <clears throat> well, fast forward to last uh, March, and he ends up falling off a six-foot ladder. Um, he lands on the concrete feet first, and he ends up just still hitting his knee. Well, the, he gets rushed to um, the ER. They set his le- they set his knee. And they find out that he has ruptured an artery in that knee from the from the knee down. So he ultimately went five hours without blood flow to to that limb, and he could have lost it. Uh, so he basically spent um, almost an entire month in a hospital bed, um, not moving, not really able to walk around much, and almost three months at home recovering in a bed. Uh, that wasn't an intentional curse. Um, it was just sort of my way of dealing with the anger that I was feeling for him at the time. People that curse aren't necessarily bad people. You know, there's there's a, a very negative re- reputation involved with with the subject at all, which is unfortunate. Um, but just because you curse doesn't mean you're a bad person. It, it, it just means you're trying to give karma a little, a little extra push when, when she needs it. You're trying to seek a balance somewhere because you're aggrieved. Something has gone wrong in your life and you want to try and repair it somehow, to try and balance out the situation, to try and, and, um, and, see, and um, regain some justice in the world. And that's, that's laudable, that's admirable, that's called justified work. But it, it doesn't necessarily mean that someone that curses is, is a bad person. It, it also doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean that all the persons are as in the story that, that I just illustrated. Ultimately, my position is that I'm an adult. Hell, let witches be adults. And if someone wants to curse another, so be it. I don't personally object to others who who refrain from cursing, but I don't shame them for doing uh, for for their positions as being unrealistic. I mean, I'm, I I may believe that those who do not curse are ultimately unrealistic, but I don't shame them for it. I would love those that, that judge others for. Cursing, um, if they would be a little more um, empathetic and try to gain an understanding as to why this individual wants to curse someone. You know, what is going on in their life that is causing them such anguish? Heck, even if the curse doesn't work, it, 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 it may give you know, positive psychological benefits that are ultimately healing to the individual um, in a way that allows them to work through the emotions that they're feeling. It allows them to, to work through their feelings in a very constructive manner sometimes. 
is ritual is is a very psychological process. So that is basically my, my little rant for today. I hope you can hear me over this wind. I, it's, it's really quite beautiful out, out there today. You know, I, I just couldn't resist not coming outside. So I, I hope you are having a, a wonderful day today. And until next time, my wishes. Keep calm and watch on. Yes, I love hand made. Oh, Thank you.